All right, so we're going to be doing something a bit different today. Uh, I've started making a game, a video game this time. Uh, now, I've made a tabletop RPG in Artifacts. Um, I made a card game a long time ago that I'm sure you could dig up somewhere on the internet if you look hard enough. Uh, but I never really got into video games, even though I've worked as a programmer for almost 10 years. Uh, it's something that I always kind of felt was difficult to break into, uh, largely because of my non-artistic nature. So when it comes to graphics and animation and all that kind of stuff, uh, it, I just felt very out of my depths. So uh, with this whole series that I want to start, I, I kind of want to capture from the beginning of working on this new game idea till the end, if, uh, if I ever complete the thing. Uh, yeah, just what that process looks like, what I was thinking, how it evolves over time. And now I, I am somebody who often starts projects and then doesn't end them. But uh, I've been working on this for uh, enough time where I do feel like there's a, a pretty good chance that I'll see it all the way through. And if not, hopefully there's just enough there that it's kind of interesting for people anyway. So, uh, very high level. Uh, what was the concept for the game? That's really all I want to talk about today. Uh, how did I land on this concept? What was the thinking? And uh, yeah, we'll get into some of the actual looking at the game uh, a different time. So why am I showing you this? This is, if anyone recognizes, Ultima 5. Um, Ultima 5 works, it's super old game that works in this uh, this kind of tile based system. You'll see there's like a character here in the middle, a little town. Everything is just like a an item on a grid and now for me somebody who feels very comfortable with programming but doesn't feel comfortable with graphics i thought something like this is maybe a good starting point maybe i could create something uh that's still fun and yeah see it all the way through but this way i don't really have to worry about animation not very seriously anyway and uh, i I always kind of had a soft spot for this style of play as well. Um, one thing that I think Ultima 5 does, I, I know lots of these old games will do, is they work on a bit of a timer. So the world is kind of paused until you move. So if you choose to move, other characters will move, the day will progress, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I always like that because there's this kind of interesting blend between real time and this like turn-based strategy thing so in moments where you know exactly what you want to do you can run about and and do what you feel is best uh, but in really tense moments you can take a second a bit of a breather analyze the situation you know who do i attack do i run do i drink a potion whatever it happens to be so I thought from a technical perspective, something that uses this style could be easy to do. And then from a gameplay perspective, yeah, I got a bit of a soft spot for this. So let's see if I can come up with something. Uh, so I started out uh, looking for some sort of tutorial, something that would help me get into uh, Unity. Now, I, I'd worked with Unity before, uh, not very seriously. I just kind of dabbled here and there. And uh, uh, it never really stuck. I, I felt like I never really got enough direction to fully understand what I was doing. You know, I would try making like a really simple card game. It, it sort of worked, but again, never got into the animations. I didn't really understand the underlying framework. Uh, but this time I thought, okay, let's look for some sort of top-down tile-based whatever. Uh, I think most things are going to have animation as opposed to this kind of janky move about um, block by block. So that's uh, what I ended up finding. And I found this really great tutorial. I'll, I'll link it for anyone who's interested. Um, this guy does this yeah, top down, kind of like Zelda-esque, right? If you think like A Link to the Past or, or um, 
NES original Zelda kind of thing. Um, top down, you can move around, swing a sword, hit some enemies, whatever, that, that kind of deal. And it uses uh, like a tile-based grid behind the scenes. So I thought, well, this could be great. You know, I'll just forget anything to do with animation. You know, let's say that that's out of my wheelhouse. Um, but I can pick up on, you, you know, how do we use this this tile grid, this tile map, it's called. Um, and yeah, build, build something like that. But in going through the tutorial, uh, I found it was a lot easier than I expected. First of all, implementing the animations uh, and getting graphics and stuff, super, super simple. Uh, but a big part of it was actually taking another look. You know, years ago, I looked at like what free assets are available. And at least I wasn't able to really find much that was good because I'm certainly not gonna be making them on my own. Uh, but around this time, uh, just took a look at itch.io great place for free resources and there's tons of sprites with animations there's tiles all kinds of stuff to where i thought okay wait a minute maybe this is a real possibility maybe i don't have to be so worried about graphics and, and animation and that kind of thing um so i i took a moment to really think about well i don't think this is going to be a obstacle so much so uh do I still like the advantages of the gameplay for this sort of like real time mixed with pause turn based thing in that tile based system? Uh, or do I just want to go for something that's fully real time? You know, what's going to be more fun? Uh, so the concept for the game that I wanted before I kind of answer that the concept was uh, I always like in an RPG um, if you go to some new area or you go somewhere that you're, you're, you know, not supposed to be, everything kills you really easily. Uh, it's very difficult for you to kill anything and it just feels like impossible, but there's, there's this now drive to be able to go and tackle that challenge. You're like, all right, I know if I level up or get cool items or something, I can go back there and hopefully get something cool. Uh, but as well, if you ever play something like Dark Souls, I think this happens a lot, or Elden Ring. Um, playing, I remember Diablo 1, the expansion, the unofficial expansion uh, that Sierra did. You could just like jump right into hell mode. Uh, you could just run through some of these areas expecting to die. Um, or maybe you got to run away from the enemies, but you grab all the... the unbelievably good loot in that area and i always just found that fun for some reason and i thought you know if, if i made a game around that concept everything seems like insurmountable impossible and you're running around this dungeon uh you know maybe past a lot of enemies so you can get a sword and then with that sword you could kill this thing that you previously wouldn't be able to kill and it would just feel like yeah one insurmountable challenge after another uh, it sounded like a really fun concept to me. So, uh, again, going back to this real time versus the sort of janky animation, what what was going to be able to accomplish that better? And I thought, okay, for the tile-based system, I kind of have this idea of how it would work, um, you know, movement by movement. Let's play around with the real time thing uh, based off of this tutorial. And what I actually thought was... Well, maybe I can get some sort of blend of the two. Maybe I can have real-time animation, but just have it like slowed down in those tense moments. So if I'm casting a spell or something's chasing me, it's going to slow down the time and I can, I can aim the spell and I can make a decision. Uh, but in cases where, yeah, I just need to run or go to the next room or whatever, everything is still uh, running at full speed which I thought was like a really cool, unique idea. And in, in my head, I was like, oh, that would, that would be really neat. What do I Google to find out how to do this in Unity? And my head uh, basically proved me wrong very fast by being like, oh, I could just Google uh, how to make a game like super hot, right? And I'm sure everyone's familiar with that. Um, but if you're not, right? It's like, 
as you're moving, the game is moving in, in real time, but you can you can turn and do different things and it's all in like slow motion. So you're controlling the time of the game. So very quickly, I was like, all right, not the most unique idea, but uh, you know, for a 2D top down game, yeah, maybe, maybe that would work. Maybe it would still be fun. So uh, based off of that initial tutorial that we were just kind of watching here, uh, I, I started to put something like that in and very quickly found it wasn't really fun. Um, I think the concept is cool and I actually think there's maybe a way to do it if you really lean into like spells and ranged abilities. You see like super hot. I think it's mostly gun based. I'm pretty sure you can like punch people and stuff, but it really works with this whole ranged uh concept and, and the fact that you can turn the camera and things like that uh, that's what makes it so great and so when i started playing with time dilation with like melee weapons and and some of the spells that i'd initially put in yeah just didn't quite feel right and i felt like it'd be like a really really big pivot from what i already had uh so again kind of took a step back i was like mm. Okay, I don't think that really works. I'm back to this kind of tile-based, grid-based system. Uh, but I'm also really locked into this idea at, at this point, you know, where everything's like super scary, high level, whatever. Is that still what I want to do? Or now that uh, real animation is on the table, do I just want to, you know, take a look at some other concepts as well? So that's exactly what I did. I, I thought, well, my dream project is an ARPG, right? Something in the style of like Diablo, uh, Path of Exile. And, you know, to me, Diablo 2 is still, it's the gold standard for ARPGs. And I think a lot of pieces of the game are dated. I think the gameplay, uh, you know, you're usually just using like one or two abilities. Some of the movement and things are a little janky, though I do think the resurrected version did a, a really good job of prettying the game up um i think the itemization in that game is really what makes it i think it is absolutely incredible uh, but there's still a lot with the gameplay that could be better so um yeah something i really really loved and i always had this kind of dream of being able to make an arpg but i just never really thought i'd have the resources to do it i thought doing like a solo arpg there's no way i i could do it especially with the artwork all that kind of stuff um, but I really sat down and thought, okay, how can I condense this, uh, this idea down into, into something that's a little more achievable? Uh, I'll just jump ahead in this tutorial here. Um, and I landed on, well, it's the itemization that I love about games like Diablo. And I think you could make a really fun 2D top down uh, game, right? I think the gameplay could be a lot of fun as well. Uh, it would mimic something like Hades a little bit more, where you're generally playing on a controller, even though that's technically like a 3D um, kind of isometric view. You could do something a little bit similar. I, I prefer closer to the Hades style of gameplay, although I, I'm really not interested in the roguelike elements. Um, so because I'm a giant nerd, uh, even though I thought, you know, I'll never make this ARPG, I still worked on what the itemization for that would look like. I, I just find that kind of stuff fun. Game design, uh, it's just too much fun for me. So I had that kind of sitting around and I thought, okay, gameplay wise, what do I really like? I don't care about the story. I don't care about the environments. Um, you know, those are kind of nice to have if you can make everything look pretty. Sure. Uh, if there's a cool story, sure, but I don't care about the story of Diablo, Path of Exile, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, honestly, if it was just one room with a bunch of enemies, you kill them and you get some cool loot, I would be happy. So I thought, okay, why don't I work towards that? Let me mess around. I took kind of what's here in this tutorial with this character and, and some of the things they get into a little bit later. You know, maybe, maybe we actually get into... Uh, some attacks or something at this point um yeah some of the animation here but if i take that and 
let me just try adding some things in like a, a little playground, right? Uh, I created a little playground project to mess around with. Could I make the gameplay fun? Combine it with the itemization with the plan that, yeah, basically the whole game will take place in one room. Or if uh, not exactly one room, but, you know, jumping from a single room to a single room, not really having to uh, create levels and maps and things like that. Uh, so that's what I started to work on and that's what I've landed on is okay that's that's exactly what I'm going to try to do so the the general concept just being that uh yeah you'll be placed into a room let's call it like for level one you know you'll go into level one there's a room you'll either have to kill all the enemies or there'll be some sort of other objective I've got some ideas that I want to play around with see see what's fun but you do whichever thing you need to do it should take like two minutes ish you know maybe two to five minutes whatever kind of feels good after you kill everything you get a level up and you get a new item and as long as the itemization is fun you're excited for that new item uh, i always love the progression steady progression of like level ups that way even if you don't get uh the item you're looking for the items kind of roll bad or whatever you're uh you're still excited for for the little base stat improvement that you're getting and then then you just go to level two the level two room you do that then the level three the level four up to like a thousand right um uh, that's just kind of the number i have in my head to to sort of balance it up to about a thousand i think you could just let it go endlessly but at some point you got to kind of put some bounds on it um so that's kind of, yeah, at a high level, the concept that I've landed on. And I, I, we could take a, just a very quick look. No gameplay, right? You can see I've taken the the background. Um, there's some of the enemies, stuff like that. Followed along with this tutorial uh, and just made a, a little playground. Substituting in a new sprite for the character just because... Uh, this sprite's got a lot more animations, so there's a lot more that I can play with. Things like rolling and sliding and casting spells. It just had all of that in place. Uh, so that's what I worked on next. I, I just kind of messed around here to get a feel for what the gameplay portion should look like. So I'm going to save all of that uh, going forward. Now, I've got another project um, where I've actually been working on things to make it more game-like. Uh, I, I can give the tiny preview, whatever you see down there on that right-hand side. That's that's the actual game that is being worked on, uh, whereas this is just kind of where I've messed around. But those are going to be the focuses on the videos kind of going forward. I'll focus a little bit on uh, the gameplay, how I've kind of landed there, and then we can see how things evolve, talk about, you know, enemies and progression and all that fun stuff and then the other main concept being the itemization uh and i, I think there's a lot of cool stuff to talk about with the itemization but uh yeah uh, again that'll come at a later time so uh, i just kind of wanted to give yeah, a high level idea for the concept where i'm at i think as i keep putting out videos in this series uh, I would expect a lot of those ideas to change, you know, much like playing with slow motion and, and tile-based grid movement. Uh, you know, those were kind of scrapped. The whole concept has changed a lot. When you play with things, uh, you experiment, you, you find what's fun, you get new ideas, other things you want to try. So this might evolve into something very different. Uh, but I also think that could be kind of cool to follow. See how the thought process starts and, and where it ends or uh, yeah, where it ends up, how it diverges. Maybe we come back around. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we'll end it for today, I guess. Next time, yeah, focus on gameplay i'll show you some of the the spells the attacks the animations all that kind of stuff uh and talk through what i'm thinking there so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully interested in following seeing uh how this stuff goes i might even stream some of the the development going forward um yeah just depending on how much interest there is would love any questions uh about it i'm i'm a huge game design nerd so the the more opportunity to just sit around and talk about the stuff the happier i am um uh, but yeah we'll, we'll we'll call it there for today and hopefully see you in the next one